do think that teams still seek a tight end that can block, not just backside, not just chipping on a double team, front side, you know, one-on-one with somebody, ideally even a defensive end, like a George Kittle a few times a game taking on Chandler Jones and, you know, whoever else is that freakish pass rusher with the go-go gadget arms, as he put, that runs mm-hmm. a four, 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 five. Like if you're a tight end and you can take on that specimen, that's just going to unlock your playbook to a completely different level and give you an unpredictability because right now I think Kyle Pitts is working at it. I think he has that willingness to become a good blocker, but if he's on the field and Atlanta lines up, you're not fearful of a power run play heading Kyle Pitts's direction. Not right now. So I I think that you still want that. Now they don't grow on trees because they don't make them in college as much anymore. So you're more so projecting, okay, Mark Bruner, you know, he's an old school tight end from the Pittsburgh Steelers. We have a chapter on him in the book where he was that throwback. He loved to block. Well, now he's a college scout for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And he even said, look, when we're looking at tight ends, we more so look for the willingness to block. And then from there, we just hope we can teach him, you know, maybe add 10, 15 pounds and teach some technique. And that year, two year, three year, four, maybe at that point, they're ready to, to block power in that situation because those guys just don't exist. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't think that the tight end position is just going extinct. I I think more than anything, what Tony Gonzalez created at the turn of the century and proving to the world, you want an athletic tight end that can make plays down the field that that 6'5 basketball player who's severely undersized in the paint, well, put him on a football field and he can dominate. It went that direction to Jimmy Graham, Antonio Gates, Rob Gronkowski, Travis Kelsey, George Kittle. And and, and now there's just a, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, a manic search for the next physical just freak show that's going to make those plays down the field. And if you, if you're not looking for one, you better be looking for one.